hello 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 this is Frida welcome to my channel okay I finished this hand spun 100% Angora rabbit that I have spun from the fiber and I have knit down to knee uh, when I put it on me I'm a 2x to a 3 extra large and I'm a tall gal <laughs> about 5'9 so uh, it is kind of short for me so this is on a regular mannequin it's a medium size and it's pretty big so I had to put pins on it to hold it because uh, it's falling down it's a large size so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash this so it's going to fly to UK hello UK greetings from Edmonton Alberta Canada <laughs> So I'm going to wash this and I am going to show you how you can wash a, ha a handmade um, knit item, crocheted item, whichever, made out of fibers and try not to agitate it because it's made out of 100% uh, wool. Angora rabbit is wool, <laughs> so you don't want to felt it, right? So uh, let's get started. I'm going to move this and uh, when I finish it and dry it, I don't know how many days it's going to dry because it is pretty cold here and I need to lay it flat to dry. So um, yeah, so it's going to take a couple of days to dry. I don't know how long. And I did use about four, over four pounds of yarn for this uh, cardigan want to show you it, it hasn't been brushed yet I brushed it when I when I was uh, doing uh, at the beginning but it's not brushed and you can see the Angora rabbit fiber and it's inside out just to show you so I'm gonna remove these pins when I did the decrease on the sleeve and I'm gonna leave these because I'm gonna put buttons right buttons here and then we'll go from there so I'll uh, take this to my soaking tub because I don't have a big tub to wash this and we'll go from there okay so I have uh, put the coat in the tub and I'm gonna use this I bought this on Amazon it's pretty expensive though so any, any wool soaps can work, but I like the lavender smell. It's not that strong. And uh, here it is. Okay. And uh, gives you all the information here. I think it's made in Colorado, CO. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn the tab and fill it and I will show you how much to add. Okay, so the water is not cold, not hot, not warm. It's between, so it's between uh, cold and warm. We don't want the heat because that will activate it to felt. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, uh, it tells you how much to use. It's one to two per load. Okay, and it gives you all this information. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill this. Let's see if I can do that. Oh, well. So I am going to put three of this, like the cap, just empty it. I think three would be enough. because I don't want it that soapy because I already washed the uh, skein, skeins well after I spun them individually so what I did is I spun I washed I dried it took three to four days to dry so it did take 
I still have skeins that are still a little bit wet. If I would highly recommend you to wash it and dry it under the sun because then it dries naturally, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak this without agitating, like push it like this. The water's not enough, but yeah. We try not to uh, push it, push it, soak it. We want this to get wet, right? So that's all we're going to do. And because this being wool, it's it's really hard to wet it. <laughs> so soak it and let it sit after it's totally soaked. I would say about twenty minutes. Let it sit in the water for 20 minutes and then because this being wool, I don't want to agitate it. Again, don't agitate it. Be cautious. Right. Because I washed it separately, I can see the water color changing. Yeah. <laughs> So it is wet, totally wet. So I'm going to use this little uh, thing here. Just to be cautious, right? Just to wet, wet it totally. 20 minutes, I'll say 20 minutes. Or even half an hour to let it sit. But again, don't agitate it. Don't play around with it. We don't want to felt it, right? I was told from a yarn company that the more you wash Angora Rabbit and brush it, it will fluff up. Like it will become fluffy and fuzzy, which I never do. This is the first time I am doing this. UK, <laughs> this is for you. Because usually what I do is I knit, I ship right away because I have lots of orders, right, waiting on the list but this one this order took me a month for me to card the yarn spin the yarn wash the yarn knit the yarn <laughs> and uh yeah it's a it's a little bit time consuming I, and i only take uh, orders when, when i get the full payment because it's a lot of work i'm up till 5 a.m i was even up till 7 a.m so just uh just want to let you know and i'm getting lots of uh, messages so if you want to message me, message me. But I would highly recommend you to message me through my email, either Funky Girls Working Shop or Angora Bolera at gmail.com. Funky Girls Working Shop at gmail.com or Angora Bolera at gmail.com. You can uh, send me a message. I'm getting through my private Facebook, my Instagram, and uh, some Facebook goes to scam spam uh, folder, which I saw, I don't know, after two months later, the, uh, the person has uh, messaged me. Unfortunately, I don't see them. And I was just playing around and I saw it. So I replied as that, but yeah, never replied back. So if you're serious, message me, I will work on it. But I, I do get the full payment because it's a lot of work. And Angora Rabbit fiber is really hard to find. Uh, to talk about the coat, I knit it down from uh, uh, top down. And I do have a playlist. If you want to go and click on my playlist, you are welcome to do that. And uh, what you can do is you can see I have several tutorials with even crochet or knit top down. So what I did is I knit the body knee down it's about 39 inches for a regular person like I said I'm tall I'm very tall girl so uh for me it's just under just on top of my knee but for a regular it is uh so I did knit about 40 inches maybe more I didn't measure it after that so I finished the yarn and I finished the 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 length of the coat and I finished the sleeves after that so uh, it did use up lots of yarn, lots of wool, lots of fiber. But I'm going to let this sit. And you can see the color change, right? You can see, I don't know, I see it. It's, it's blurry like the water is. 
even I washed it individually, the skeins, the yarn. But yeah. So I will let this sit and I'll be right back 20 minutes later or half an hour. Let's put, put it half an hour because there's lots of wool in this. Let's let it sit for half an hour and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's been sitting for half an hour. So I'm going to drain the water and I'm not going to touch the coat because I don't want to felt it. And uh, the water is not that dirty just to show you. But before I drain it, what I do is I put, I drain, I put the water in the toilets that I have in the house. So I don't want to waste the soap because it's, well, not, because I didn't put that much soap. And it's not foaming as you can see because it's a special uh, wool, uh, special wool soap. So I will drain and I'll be right back. This is going to take me a while. And look at the color. It looks like a beige color right when it's wet but it's actually uh angora rabbit white the natural white color so i'll be right back okay so i have drained the water and uh what i'm going to do is <laughs> i need to rinse this Right, there's still soap in it, right? Okay, so I'm going to fill it again. I'm not going to agitate or touch the coat because I don't want to felt it. And I'm going to use, again, between... Uh, hot water uh, warm water and cold water we don't want hot so that when you when we turn to hot water that activates the fiber and we don't want to do that no 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 okay so i will turn the tab and i'll be right back or if you just want to listen to the sound <laughs> you are welcome to I think this is enough okay so uh, I'm just gonna let it stay for five minutes I think five minutes enough and I will uh, drain the water again and I will let it sit and then I will move it to my rack uh, this is pretty heavy though <laughs> because there's uh, lots of wool in it so uh, just let it sit and I'll wait wait well, I'll be back. Uh, let it sit for five minutes because, uh, yeah, the, and I'm not going to put any conditioning because we don't want to put wax on the wool, right? We just want it natural. So I'm just trying to get rid of the soap, the wool soap. And uh, yeah, again, I see the water is kind of blurry. I don't know if you can see it. It's not dirty. It's just the uh, wool, I guess, being washed, right? Yeah. So I don't want to agitate or anything. I'm just pushing, but I can see the water is, uh, I don't know if you can see, the water is not, not pure. <laughs> so still, again, it must be from the, 
even I washed it yeah so I can see still okay I'll be right back I'll just let it sit for five more minutes and I'll be right back Okay, so it's been sitting for five minutes. I'm gonna drain this water. It's just water, nothing. So while I'm draining it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on top like this. Because I don't want to stretch the sleeves, anything, right? And, uh, So it's going to drain. I don't put it in your washer machine. Definitely do not put your knit items in your washer machine. It will stretch. It, it will be ruined. It will shrink. <laughs> it will felt. So never put your handmade knit items in a washer machine dryer. Never ever. If you want to felt it, that's a different story. But uh, yeah, don't. There's uh, lots of water in here. The more I push, the more water is coming. <laughs> I wish it was hot outside so I can, you know, lay it on my deck and uh, it would have uh, dried under the sun. But unfortunately, it's minus 20, I don't I think, something, minus, minus 10. So uh, I'm just squeezing, I'm not twisting or anything. Okay, just like this. And I'm gonna move this to my rack again, my cl cloth. Okay. But uh, I want the water to. There's lots of water. Lots of water. Okay, let me see. I can try to. Okay. Uh, I squeezed. I'm just squeezing nothing. Try not to agitate it. Okay, so I'm uh, looking at my hands and it's not shedding that much. Just a little bit. That's okay because I squeezed the the coat right so i'm gonna move this to my other tub uh and i'll be right back i'm gonna move the coat <laughs> okay so i try i unfortunately it doesn't flat because i have no room and this is the only tub these are the two tubs that i have i don't have anything wider so it won't open so i can let it flat dry but um if you can hear it, it is the water is coming down and I try uh, to put the sleeves on the same side like if you have room I would highly recommend you to lay it flat and then let it dry but other than that the water will come and what you, what you will do is the simple way you just come here and then kindly just squeeze so the water the more water goes down the faster it will dry just like this okay so this is all you need to do until it's totally you know the water is drained and yeah, so this is what I did. Unfortunately, it doesn't open because I have no room to do that. And uh, I'm 
but I would highly recommend you to wash your wool items, your knit items, and then lay it flat down, dry under the sun. So, uh, you know, you use the natural sun to dry it. Other than that, do not put it in a washer or dryer. Or you can take it to the dry cleaning, I'm sure, but I wouldn't trust them either. Uh, so, uh, this is all I did. Just squeeze, I'm not twisting. As you can see, I'm just squeezing, just squeeze, just squeeze like this. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll ask my husband to squeeze later on because my wrist hurt. It's, it was really tough on my wrists. Okay, so... Uh, this is for you again, UK. <laughs> uh, so as soon as it dries up, I will pack it. And uh, I will inform you again with the tracking number. And I will ship it to UK. Uh, another thing, UK customers, surrounded area, the they have the uh, custom fee, or I think VAT fee. So I don't know. Sometimes they charge, sometimes they don't. It has nothing to do with us shipping. It's your regulation. Like uh, if I buy something $20 and over in Canada, and if it comes to Canada, the customs holds it, holds it and they charge us custom fee, which starts from $20 and up, depending on how much we paid. So uh, yeah, you can't get away with that, unfortunately. Every country has their own rules. So uh, if you live in uh, Europe, uh, if you buy something, just be cautious. You need to pay your fee. So don't forget about that. I just wanted to inform. Sometimes you don't, sometimes you do. You never know. Okay, so you guys take care. And I hope you like this video to, for me sharing on how to wash handmade knit crocheted items. So don't agitate them. That's the number one rule. Don't use hot water when you turn your <laughs> tab on. It has to be between cold and warm. So, uh, yeah, definitely. And I will brush this. It needs a nice brush. You can see the fiber. It's already coming nice. And the more you wash, the more you brush. That's what I was told. And these uh, hand spun, these will come up and get, will give you that uh, fluffiness. So these needs to be brushed strongly. If you have the time if you have the wrist so i would highly recommend you to uh brush your angora rabbit or alpaca even gets fuzzy gives you that fluffy uh look so you guys take care if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and don't be hesitate don't be shy to hit that notification button so every time I post a new video, you will be notified, indicating I post a video, tutorial, and live streams that I do once a month. Usually on the 27th, but this uh, last month I did it on the 26th. And this month I will do it on the 26th so again. It's a Saturday. I don't want to do it on a Sunday. Because everyone has lives. <laughs> you guys take care. Happy knitting, happy crocheting.